We have also, Honorable Speaker, another area where we have significant uh, emissions, probably 25 percent, maybe 25, 28 percent of our emissions in British Columbia come out of energy, oil and gas sector in large part. The energy plan with, that the minister spoke about, uh, the, uh, the environment minister spoke about and, and talked about the green energy plan, well, the reality of the green energy plan is much of it is green by cover of the report and not much else. We've seen uh, one of the most aggressive and rapid expansions of oil and gas proposed that we've ever seen uh, in this report. And it's interesting that between this year and 2010, there will be over a billion dollars of public subsidy given to the oil and gas sector. That's the, what's proposed. This year alone was $265 million. There will be over a billion dollars given. At the same time, for alternate energy initiatives and development, at this point, we've of course seen about $25 million has been provided there to look at innovative proposals. And it's not necessarily to provide, as it is with for oil and gas, for infrastructure and supports in that, but it is to provide for some initiatives. So we have $25 million for what we might call green energy and a billion dollars for what we would call old conventional fossil fuel energy. That's a disconnect, Honorable Speaker. That's a disconnect between the climate change initiatives that Bill 44 talks about the reductions that Bill 44 looks for us to accomplish, and the reality of government policy. And of course, Honorable Speaker, it doesn't quite end there. The Minister of Energy, Mines and Petroleum Resources is one of the strong advocates of going offshore. And we know, Honorable Speaker, that at a time when we should be looking at conservation, when we should be looking more closely at other initiatives, this minister, the Minister of Energy, Mines and Petroleum Resources, uh, along with his federal counterparts who share his view, are looking at ways to advance offshore oil and gas. Not exactly in sync with the Premier's plans for uh, climate change and emission reductions.